In this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Shoemaker 2015. The next new feature we're going to take a look at is called the Configure Flattening Tool. This tool enables Shoemaker to analyze different flattenings that have been produced outside of Shoemaker and then create a flattening parameter file. This can then be used to produce your own flattenings within Shoemaker. Okay, so saved onto my computer are all of my last with their approved flattening. So you can see those here. So I have the last and I have the DXF flattening. You can also see that they're named as the same name. So this is very important because they need to identify with each other. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Object, I'm going to go to Flattening, and I'm going to go to Configure Flattening. As you can see, I have all of my last and their approved flattenings already uh, selected in. So if I wanted to, I could remove one of these by simply selecting it and saying Remove, or I can add one by simply selecting Add, going and finding it, and then adding it back in. So I have my sports last, so I'm going to select that. So when I select the .shoe file, the DXF will automatically be added in with it. Okay, so here I have the allowed deviation. So this is just um, how the new flattening is going to deviate from the original one. So the lower the number is, the closer it will be to the original flattening. So I'm going to leave this at 5%. So I can also say archive models. So these will save all of the models into the local shared database on my computer. Uh, and then I'm going to say process and I'm going to say yes. So this is now processing all of those last and all of those DXF files. Okay, so now this has been done, you can see I have my um, FPM file that's been created here. I also have um, each of my lasts and the flattenings and it says how much the new flattening is deviating from the old one. So this is this number here and here. So now what I can do is I can save this flattening anywhere on my computer. So I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. I'm going to say OK. I can also publish it by selecting that icon there. Um, and I'm just now going to say cancel. Okay, so I'm now going to open up a last from the library, so I'll just pull this one in. Okay, so I can now go to the Create Flattening icon, and I can now choose my best flattening that I've just created, and I can select OK. And now this last will flatten using the flattening I created using the Configure Flattening tool.